Hello friends, and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. All right, it's Saturday, so that means it's another restaurant vlog. Today we're gonna visit George's Restaurant, Bar, and Catering. There's actually two locations in the Waco area, and we're gonna go hit the original one. Now this is a place I hadn't really heard of a lot, but it was recommended by one of my viewers who commented that I should check this place out. So I looked into it and it looks like it has a good history in Waco. It's actually been around for about 80 years under several different owners. And every time a new owner kind of uh, took over, they kind of put their own little flavor into the restaurant. And it's kind of turned into something that's uh, uh, kind of a, a legend here in uh, the Waco area. Uh, it's uh, very big with uh, the Baylor crowd. In fact, they have a uh, part of the restaurant called the Party Zone where they uh, broadcast all of the Baylor home games. And apparently it's the hottest place to be uh, outside, of, outside of McLean Stadium. So uh, I took a, look, took a look at the menu. It seems to have a really big variety of uh, things. And I think I've already kind of decided what I'm gonna have. I'm really hungry, so let's go check out George's Restaurant, Bar, and Catering. So as I've said before, one of the ways to kind of tell you've found someplace great is just by looking at the number of cars in the parking lot. This place actually has three parking lots and like they're all full. So, yeah, I'm hoping I'm actually gonna be able to get into this place. But yeah, they got this cool uh, mural on the side of the building here. Apparently uh, the bushes have eaten here a number of times. So this place is really busy here today, uh, as I guess you should expect with a place that has three parking lots that are all full. So I just elected to kind of come in and uh, sit in the bar area uh, where it was just kind of open seating. So I'm just kind of checking around this place. It's kind of a cool little funky little bar. I really kind of like the fact that in front of me they've got probably one of the biggest flat screen TVs I think I've ever seen. I'm going to flip the camera around in a second so you can see it. It's clearly about six feet tall and probably about 15 feet long. Like I said, you, know, you don't usually see that out of a sports stadium or something. So yeah, check out the size of that TV. That thing's massive. And of course they got all their Baylor stuff and it's kind of a fun, uh, funly themed place here. That is really hopping during the Bears games. So a lot of times when I come to a restaurant, at least recently, I like to uh, kind of look at look for things that they're kind of known for and try them. One of the things I, they keep talking about is their Big O's, which is a 18 ounce frosty cold beer. I like uh, I like frosty cold beer, so I think I'm going to try that. And then allegedly they have. The best chicken fried steak uh, in Waco, and for, uh, I guess they've won that for 15 years in a row. So definitely going to try that also. So I've ordered my uh, Big O beer, and basically uh, they have a just basically what they have on tap, which is just the typical stuff. And uh, one of the things they had is a uh, Samuel Adams Oktoberfest. So I'm a I'm a fan of Samuel Adams. So we'll try that. So my Big O uh, has arrived, uh, and I've ordered my meal, so I think I'm getting ready to go here. So it's really jumping in here. I'm hoping that you're even going to be able to hear me over all the noise in here. Uh, one of the things uh, I've learned that I thought was kind of interesting, I'm not really that much into country music, but apparently there's an artist named Pat Green who wrote a song called George's Bar that's literally about this place. And one of the lyrics in the song talks about the Big O beer and how he uh, loved to get big old beers so yeah uh, you know just an interesting little piece of trivia about this place and the beer is very tasty and one of the things they claim that's one of their uh, specialties is that they have the coldest beer that you can get here in Waco apparently and uh, I think I understand their technique you know you keep it really cold in the tap and then you serve it in a big thick glass that's been in the freezer I gotta admit I love beer that's actually a little bit frosty on top it's like a beer slushy. All right, food has arrived. I uh, got my uh, chicken fried steak here, some mac and cheese, some garlic mashed potatoes, and of course you got the sauce for the uh, chicken fried steak. This looks and smells really good, so let's give it a taste test. So first impressions, it's all really good. Uh, the mac and cheese is really uh, cheesy and really flavorful. Uh, the garlic mashed potatoes are good. and. Um, uh, the chicken fried steak is nice and juicy and tender. 
And I do really, really like the sauce. The sauce sometimes can be a little too salty, but this is just about right for me. So yeah, they initially forgot to bring my rolls out too, so I had to ask about that, but those look pretty good too. One of the things I like about the chicken fried steak is actually they didn't put the, uh, the gravy on top of it. They put it in a little bowl here so you can kind of get as much as you want. Which, uh, you know, like a lot of times I just spread it right on the chicken fried steak and then you don't often get enough. So that's actually a good way of doing that. They got some cool merch here too you can get. Yeah, they're proud of their big O. It is a little noisy in the room I was in, but don't let that deter you if you want to come here because, uh, you know, this is just, this is the bar area and that was just where I chose to sit. There's uh, plenty of other areas in here that are a lot quieter, so. I'm going to do a little walk through the rest of the place just so you can kind of see the theming of this because it's really kind of cool in here. See what I mean? It's a lot quieter in the rest of this place. Kind of the main eating area in here and like I said, it's even quieter in here, so. Apparently they're having a silent auction here. I guess to support uh, Baylor Scott and White McLean Children's Medical Center. Some kind of cool things that she can uh, bid on. if you're so inclined. Oh, there you go, that's Johnny Cash and Elvis Presley. We just ate Elvis's lasagna the other night. And Muhammad Ali beating up the Beatles. Even have a couple Super Bowl rings here. That's kind of cool. Dallas Cowboys and Houston Astros. Yeah, they got a whole bunch of best of Waco things. Best take a date, best impressive visitor, atmosphere, bar, burger, kid-friendly restaurant, girls' night out, service, dessert, chicken fried steak, onion rings, cheap eats, french fries, wings, salad, happy hour, celebration meal, outdoor dining, catering service, business lunch, Fried chicken, locally owned, watch the game, and appetizers. But hey, it is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't, right? So final review, yeah, the food was really good. Uh, and it was actually a reasonably priced, too. I got out of there for well under $20, and that was a lot of food they served. So yeah, chicken fried steak was really good. The uh, mac and cheese was good. The uh, the rolls are really good. Don't let them uh, cheat you out of not giving you those because that was just as worthwhile as everything else. So I think that is all that I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night. Yeah, see what I mean about three parking lots? One parking lot completely full, two parking lots completely full, and three parking lots completely full.